What's going on everyone? If you're joining this video to see me talk about a specific bait that's probably not going to happen till the end, I want to share with you my first kayak experience. I had a chance to go out and do some kayak bass fishing last late winter, early spring and got on a pretty good swim bait bite. I learned a lot of things about kayak fishing. I got really frustrated as well, but I ended up having a really good day. And I've sat on this footage for quite a while after the video, after you see me catch a couple of janes, I'm gonna go over with the bait, the rod and reel setups I use, and hopefully you can use that so you can catch more fish when you go kayak fishing or any other time. God dang. Jack. Look at this. First bass out of kayak. Let's try and get him in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh yeah. Dirty jigs. Luke Clawson pitching jigs. The net bait pack a slam. Solid, solid fish. Dude, I'm pumped. Oh yeah. Gonna have to take a photo of that one. Hell yeah. Throw that sucker back. Here you go, buddy. Awesome. Now the first bait I used and when I caught my first bass in a kayak on was actually this Dirty Jigs Luke Clawson Compact Pitcher Jig. And if you've seen previous videos, I'm a really big fan of this jig. Uh, it's got a small profile. It's got a really stout smaller hook in it and I paired it up with a net bait pack of slim. This is green pumpkin orange. Uh, the skirt on this dirty jigs uh, was actually called Matt's Mix-Up, named after Matt Allen, of course. And uh, I just was real simple with it. You know, thread that pack of crawl right on there, uh, that jig, and it's got that little keeper on my hook shank. And so I've got a small jig, but it's still a pretty bulky profile, uh, but it's gonna fall really slow and go right into their mouth. And that's exactly what that happened right there. There's one. Oh, he come off. God dang, that was a good one. Golly. Another big one I lost. Mm. Freaking tricks, man. There's one, Jack. Big one. Big one. Oh, that's a bad trick for the boys. Big one. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, man, look how that fish ate that bass tricks. Holy smokes. He ain't super big, but.
fat, chunky that bass is. Get a good release shot here. I've had more bots on the swim bait than anything. I just worry about that paddle falling in. I wish it, we need to get one of those things. Dan says you can get them and they hook up on this track. Yeah. God, that fish drilled it. There's one big one, big one, big, big one, big, big one. Yep. So throwing a swim bait, you do. Yeah. Oh yeah, choked it. All right, I got to stop that. I'm getting one of those things installed ASAP. That, this, that yeah, this. Whew. Fish was hooked good. I mean, ate that bass tricks. Not a giant. Felt better than he was. He hit it like three times. I mean, just, yeah. The second bait I was using, it is no secret. It was a swim bait. Specifically, uh, the six inch Bass Tricks Paddle Tail Swim Bait. One of my all time favorite swim baits out there because it can be rigged so many different ways. But what I was doing is special. I was putting this uh, owner beast flashy hook on there. So you get the weedless approach of a beast hook this little flashy blade behind it. All you gotta do is put your centering pin right here in the middle of the head. Screw this bad dude on. Just like so. I kinda line it up, see where I want my hook to come out. Push it so it comes right out the top of that swim bait. And I really, that, color, that water color wasn't perfectly clear. It had just a little color in it. The chartreuse and blue was key, but that little a willow leaf blade there gave it just a little bit of flash to give those fish something to key on. And man, when they hit this thing, they absolutely annihilated. Now I only had two rod and reel setups. Basically, seven foot, medium heavy, with a seven to one reel for jig fishing. And then when I was throwing the swim bait, I was using a seven foot two, medium heavy Shimano Zodius rod uh, paired with the six to one reel. The one reason I like the medium heavy, especially for throwing that uh, swim bait, it lets that rod load a little bit and then you can jam them when they eat that thing. You'll see I missed a couple of fish because I tried to set the hook too quick. If you let the rod load and do its job, you'll catch a whole lot more fish uh, when you fish a swim baits like that. Do me a favor, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give it a like and share it to your buddies. Hopefully, I get to make some more awesome kayak fishing videos this year, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.